Okay. If, if, if you're not happy with that hole aligning with the, the tube behind it, now's the time to change that. Okay. So, because if you've decided you want that higher so that it clears that tube, when now's time to do it, you'll have to trim that panel in. But yeah, keeping in mind, if you attempt to lift this, you'll have to modify that and modify this where it sits on the... Okay. So it starts changing the stacking tolerances of everything. So that's going to move anyways just because of the bend. Yes. So now we went ahead and marked it. We undo our Clico fasteners, pull that panel out, take some pin snips, trim that, maybe dust the edges of the file, clean up the sharp burrs, fit it back in there again, and recheck it. Did, did the body come pre drilled with these holes? So you know where yeah, these the mounting holes are in there. In fact, it folds about it where it be bolted up on the When you get the kit? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's one of the first things you're going to do then is make sure that back panel is. Okay. That you have the proper clearance across the top. You do not want the vertical aluminum panel touching the fiberglass. Why? It stresses the body when it moves. Cut. It'll cut into the fiberglass over time. Okay. That's an absolute no-no. Now there is no ball seal that goes on top of that on that particular panel. Let me show you what I mean by ball seal. This one's going to end up getting carpeted. You're going to carpet up underneath this, and this lip covers up the edge of the carpet. But, and they also give you five rivets, five 316 rivets. You're actually supposed to rivet the body to this band, but you don't want it rubbing on that inside radius. Okay. Now, having said that about those five rivets, I've not seen a car yet that used them. <laughs> it's one of those, I think it's more psychological than anything. You just got your car back from the paint shop and you've written that $3,500 to $6,500 check <laughs> for the paint. Now you get the drill and go drill through that paint, put a big rivet in here. Uh, structurally, you won't need it. It's going to be supported in enough places that it's not going to be an issue. And this, this won't vibrate? Oh, well, first of all, you're going to have okay. 50 rivets in the panel. Okay. You're going to have carpet, carpet between right. that panel and the body. By the way, save the carpeting for after you sent the body to the paint shop. The normal sequence of events is to build the whole car in the gel coat phase, shake down the car, drive it in gel coat, work the bugs out of it, fix the oil leaks, fix the rattles if any, fix all those little things you don't like, and then take the body off and send it, it only to the paint shop. While it's at the paint shop, you've got to make sure and leave something to do while the car painter's got your body. You don't want to be all done with the roller and be bugging your painter every day. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Oh, I was just in the neighborhood. I wanted to see if you were done yet. Because he's going to end up getting to rush the job and then you'll not be happy. So wait till then to do your stereos and your carpets and your, all that other stuff. Whatever it is that you like to do. While the body's out. Huh? While the body's out. Off for the second or the first time and off the Okay, so we're just checking that. Now again, depending on where you decide this panel ought to be, and a whole bunch of other variables, how this was bent and so forth and so on, you might not need to trim any of them. But just look for that. And I always tell the story on my partner, John Sharp, you haven't met him yet, he's one of our other full-time teachers. He built one of these three years ago. And he and I were down here on the weekend. I was on this side of the shop working on my car. He had gotten his body back from paint. And he was working on his, trying to the body out. And I helped him set the body on. And I came back over here and I'm working. And I started hearing all these profanities coming over that wall. I don't think you were praying, but it sounded like it. And then I heard, Nick, come over here. So when I came over there, John six about 280 pounds, little guy. He's up here going on his brand new peanut body like this, and he says, uh, get that bolt, Nick, slide it through the hole. 
Doesn't line up. But I chewed him out. John, didn't you listen to anything I said? So we slowed him down and uh, we figured out that the aluminum was high. And that's why it didn't fit. You don't want to pry it into place. And the fix was real easy. So even if you forget to check this initially, it's not hard to undo your error. Just so you just don't force it into place. I had him hold the body up and I got in here with a little jigsaw. Yeah. I trimmed off a, I hacked off a half inch of aluminum. Thank you.